Hello, my name is John Cosby. I'm going to be painting here on the coast of Maine today. And uh, I've chosen a subject that is going to get better as the sun goes down. So that's something I'm always thinking about when I'm trying to find a place to paint. Uh, in choosing a painting, what I'm looking for is a design. <clears throat> and uh, I think of that first. And then I see if the design is going to get better and the light's going to get better as the day progresses or if I'm going to be painting away from the painting. Okay, I want to talk a little bit about color. So there's a nice purple. Now, if I want to make that a grayer purple, I can certainly make it bluer or redder, that's simple. But if I want to make it grayer, all I have to do is take the other color off to the side, like that, so I can show you the difference. And I got a nice gray purple right there. Isn't that nice? So, and it's still all in harmony. Now look how it's moving over towards the green here. That's because there's blue in there. And when I put the yellow in, I'm moving towards green. So it's completely circular. I can pull this pile of purple all the way back to where it's a gray yellow. I couldn't get a completely pure yellow again unless I just, you know, completely cut the blue out of it or the red. I need both out. But anyway, that gives you the first idea of the way I mix. I'll be going over this over and over and over it while I'm painting and talk about warming the color, graying the color, pulling it this way and pulling it that. But I needed to introduce it first. So what's happening is there's little rivulets of water that are coming across and they go right through the reflection in the house. And they have a pattern and an angle. And so I just try to follow that pattern and angle clean up the brush, take them through the house. And it just, it interrupts, you know, with that little wave pattern. You don't want to overdo it. And I don't want to pull the house color out here. I'm trying to make sure I don't do that. See that little bit goes a long ways. And then I'll pull a little bit in from this side. You know, we want it to be on the same line though, the same pattern. Notice how that drapes over the top of the reflection now, makes it feel very reflective. There's a little too sharp of a line right there. Can you see that? That makes, makes your eye crazy when you walk into a room at a show and you see you've left that in the painting. Put a head on this guy. And I like to make my figures have some action, not just be standing dormant. So anytime I can add a little something, a little bit of movement or something, I'll do that. These, uh, I don't want a lot of attention drawn to these figures. I'm going to add a second figure in the boat just to use, get it even more attention in this area. There we go. And my man walking up here should be reflected. So I'll use a light reflection of him. and his friend and his friend's friend so i haven't talked a lot about high finish but what i want to get across in this video is how to make a solid painting in the field uh, a really really finished painting is not really something that you will be doing in the field right in the beginning so it's if you can't get to here during the painting process. You can never get the finished painting. So that's what this video is about. Getting a solid painting in the field. Now on DVD. To learn more, visit www.streamlineartvideo.com.